as we celebrate the 73rd founding anniversary of Fifth Fighter Wing with the theme Sustaining Excellence, Building Capabilities, and Overcoming Challenges. Let us take a look on its commendable accomplishments from October 2019 to the present. In air operations, the wing has performed 60 sorties of combat missions with a total of 116 Mk-82 500-pound bombs dropped against the enemy of the state. Numerous air interdiction missions were conducted day and night in different parts of the southern Philippines employing a large force of air assets. The wing also deployed the AS-211 aircraft at Palawan to intensify the conduct of maritime patrol in the area. For the period covered, the wing already conducted 60 maritime patrol missions at the West Philippine Sea. FA-50PH aircraft is also utilized in the conduct of the said mission at the northern Philippines, especially the far-flung islands of Batanes. One of the highlights for air operations this year is the first ever live fire of the AGM-65 at the waters of Sulu Sea in June 2020, utilizing the FA-50PH aircraft attended by senior leaders and considered as one of the milestones for the Fifth Fighter Wing and the Philippine Air Force. In September 2020, Fifth Fighter Wing pilots demonstrated their proficiency in intercepting air and naval assets during the tactical intercept mission of the A-29 Bravo Super Tucano over Lubang area and the Philippine Navy's BRP Jose Rizal near Fuga Island, Cagayan. Other air operation missions include aerial patrol at Southern Luzon AOR and the conduct of Mockbuster and tactical demonstration flight to VVIPs of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. With all of the continuous efforts in developing a credible fighter force capability that leads to the attainment of its vision, the 5th Fighter Wing was awarded as proficient during the command conference held at Antonio Bautista Air Base in the third quarter of 2019. In training, the wing accomplished a total of 92 out of 123 program trainings this year. Some of these are the annual instrument refresher training, introduction to fighter fundamentals, lead-in fighter training, part task and full mission flight simulator training, and advanced jet training. Some of the ground trainings accomplished are hypobaric chamber flight, aircraft rescue and firefighting drill, and the different FA-50PH and AS-211 maintenance courses for officers and system specialists for both aircraft. As the unit responsible for the maintenance of air assets, the 430th Aircraft Maintenance Group never fails in providing maintenance support to combat operations by means of providing viable aircraft in support to the 5th Fighter Wing mission. For the period covered, the wing maintains an average of the following OR rate for both AS-211 and FA-50PH aircraft through the conduct of regular inspection, repair, overhaul, and correction of defects in order to ensure the continuing airworthiness of all its air assets. In civil military operations, the wing participated in the relief operations during Ta'al volcano eruption in January 2020. Likewise, following are the efforts and initiatives of the wing against COVID-19. Groups and squadrons provided their continuous help and support to their respective adopted barangays during this time of pandemic. In terms of safety, the wing initiated several ways to eliminate the risks and hazards to its operational and non-operational environment. This includes the implementation of the anti-DUIL measures, regular conduct of wing safety meeting and safety council meeting, forcible entry simulation, deployment of long-range acoustic device, conduct of bird run before takeoff and landing, fabrication of FOD shaker, conduct of bunker suit drills, simulated ARFF drills, live fire drill scenarios, aviation mishap investigation seminar, among others. With all of these efforts and initiatives, the ring received the Commanding General Philippine Air Force Award of Safety combat category during the Philippine Air Force anniversary for calendar year 2020. For base development and engineering services, a total of 10 facilities were undergoing repairs, one renovated and two newly constructed. To name a few of these projects are the repair of the fabrication building, air munitions building, officer's six-door apartment, renovation of Basa Air Base Hospital X-ray room, Construction of two 20,000 gallons of Paul storage under Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement. Construction of Paul dump and repair of arming and de-arming area at runway 21. For personnel development, 
The wing continuously conducts morale and welfare activities, gender and development seminars, and recognition to its preserving personnel. The wing is also the primary unit responsible for base activities, such as the Day of Remembrance, Pascuan Sabasa, with its daily show, Christmas Eve Mass, school's presentation, Miss Basa 2019, Auto Moto Show, Pakwelahan, and New Year's Eve Mass. Part of base activity is the participation of the wing to the PAF Night 2019, where personnel showcase their talents in performing the Mascara Festival of Bacolod. The wing also welcomes different general officers and other VIPs of the country. Prior to this day, the wing already conducted several activities in connection with its 73rd founding anniversary. Fun Shoot Tournament on 03 October, Pajak Kalikasan on 09 October, the tree planting activity along the route, gift giving activity to the Bahai Pagibi home for the aged at the Holy Angel Village, Ilabastagan, city of San Fernando, Pampanga, and Munting Tahana ng Nazareth Incorporated, Mabalaka City, Pampanga. On 16 October and the Sanay Sibat 2020, last 19 to 21 October 2020, Jag with air defense exercise. Over the years, the wing had its share of ups and downs. Regardless, the time has come for the 5th Fighter Wing to awaken. And one of the most significant milestones for the 5th Fighter Wing is the development of Basa Air Base into a modern fighter base. Now, the base boasts with modern facilities supporting fighter operations. With all of these accomplishments, it signals the 5th Fighter Wing is now ready to set forth in taking the lead towards a credible air defense, steadfast and focused on its mission of sustaining excellence, building capabilities, and overcoming challenges.